this is a video that's part of a series, the second video in the series, on using Scratch, which is a visual programming language, uh, to help people get started in programming and just give them those basic concepts. Scratch can be found at scratch.mit.edu, and there you can download the program for your desktop computer, uh, and it's cross-platform for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux, but they also have this uh, web interface you can use. And uh, so you can go ahead and start using that just because it's probably the simplest, but if you download it, it's going to be a very similar interface. Starting off right where we left last time, we made it so that when you click the start button, our uh, cat here jumps to the center of the screen and then glides to three different points, making somewhat of a triangle. But today we're going to change it so that we can control it uh, with our keyboard. So let's go ahead and um, disconnect these, and I'm going to just drag them over there. So once you disconnect blocks, just drag them back over to this area here and that will get rid of them. I am going to leave this because I do want when I start the game for my character to start at the middle of the screen. So now we're going to control the mouse or yeah, well the cat, <laughs> the cat uh, with a keyboard uh, controls. So we're going to use our arrow keys. So again, if we go to our uh, controls here, I'm sorry, our events here, uh, we can go when a certain key is pressed. So let's go ahead and drag that block over and I'm gonna say click here and I'm gonna say right arrow. So we're saying anytime the right arrow is clicked, do something. And again, we do have our cat selected here for this. So anytime, whatever uh, item you have selected here is what you're programming for over here. It also shows you the picture there. So let's go ahead and uh, make the cat move when the right arrow is clicked. So go to motion and we're going to move a certain number of steps. So now we have that there. The cat's going to move 10 steps every time the right arrow is clicked. So at this point, I can just start pressing my right arrow. Every time I press it, he moves 10 steps. And now I can go back to events and again choose when a key is pressed and change this from space to left arrow, motion, and we're going to move him a certain number of steps and in this case we're going to move him a negative number of steps. So now instead of moving 10 steps forward he's going to move 10 steps back. So now I can use my left arrow to move him back 10 steps or forward. And this works. It's not the best way to do this as I'll get into a better way in the future but for right now we'll keep it simple. But the, the problem with this is if I press right arrow to move and I hold down the right arrow, he's gonna move 10 spots, wait a half a second, and then he'll start moving again. Same with the left direction. So watch, I'm gonna press right arrow. So you see, and now I'll go left. He moves a little bit, stops, move. Uh, so there are better ways of doing this, but to keep things simple, we got this working right now. And um, of course, there are other things we can do. So let's say we want to move him up or down. We can go again to uh, events, do another when is uh, key is clicked, and I can do up arrow and go back to motion. And now I can move him as we discussed in the last video that Y is up and down. And so I can say up arrow by 10 on the Y, so now when I press up arrow, he starts moving up. And I can do the same thing uh, with events, and I can do down arrow, move, and we can move him on the Y axis. So change Y by 10, uh, yes, but now we're gonna say negative. So now, when I press up, he moves up. If I press down, he moves down. If I move left, he moves left. I move right, he moves right. So now you might be asking, why does this say move steps and this says change by, and we also have a change X by? And that would be a very good question. And the answer is because this is moving him forward in what direction he is facing or back in what direction he is facing. So if we rotate, our character. So for example, if I take this turn him 15 degrees every time the, the, the flag is clicked, uh, so every time the flag is clicked to start the game, he's going to be moved to the center of the screen and turned a little bit. Now if I press right arrow, he's not moving to the right, he's moving down. Let's move him a little further. Now he's even moving a little bit to the left. 
So you have to take that into to consideration. Are we moving in the direction that our cat is facing? Or are we constantly moving right arrow moves him to the right or left of the screen? If we want to move him constantly to the right or left of the screen, regardless of which way he's facing, we can remove those blocks and we can say change by x by 10, change x by 10, and we can change this one to a negative 10. So now, we put him in the center screen, and no matter which way he's facing, he's moving up, down, left, or right. So again, it all depends on what type of character you're creating and which way you want them to face, and if you're going to have them turning at all. Uh, so we can also have him point in a direction. So let's remove this turn block, which turns him so many degrees, and let's just face him in a direction. So at this point, it's going to face him 90 degrees. If we press start, it'll face him that way. So again, if you want your game to start with the cat always facing the same direction, you'll want to have that on the flag there. So here we are, we're moving our character, and in this case, not in the direction he's necessarily facing, but up, down, left, and right with our arrows. Uh, another negative uh, way or reason for doing it this way, uh, another negative aspect of doing it this way, is if I was to press up and right at the same time, which way is he going to go? Well, he's going to go whichever was the last place uh, arrow that was clicked, which might be hard to tell. I can't make him move diagonally with this particular setup. But again, we'll get into more advanced movements in future videos. I do thank you for watching. In the next video, we will be moving the cat with our mouse cursor. So, again, thank you for watching. Uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. And again, this video is part of a series. There should be a link in the description of this video to a full playlist. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.